The Cairo Opera House is hosting an event entitled Amen, which is a caravan of artists that are joined together to display their art in a way that will universally integrate people together, despite religion, cultural differences, and ethnicities. Let's take a look at the exhibition and find out what we have. This event today uh, it is international uh, international exhibition because it have uh, one word is from uh, many generation uh, many uh, priors of uh, Egyptian art and uh, Jews and uh, Coptics and uh, Muslim. This word is it means I mean. After many prayer, you can tell me all of us I mean. I mean, it is a spiritual word. Is uh, you can uh, listen uh, listen it in every prayer, every prayer. And uh, my stool uh, it is the consist of uh, uh, the Nile, uh, the water of Nile uh, behind the planting uh, and the uh, Hebrew and the, some uh, artists uh, in front and in the we have our, uh, we have our, the stone. Certain artists, uh, many uh, branch from uh, education art and the uh, fine art and applied art and the free art. Yes, and the many nationality uh, started from this exhibition. I was Greece and uh, German and American in this uh, exhibition. All I mean, I mean international spiritual in any religion. Uh, this organization he have uh, methods and he have a philosophy uh, because he make peace of the world. Uh, this organization uh, tell us, told of us, uh, it is means international. The Egyptian artist and another artist, all of them, uh, in one word, this I mean, it is very fantastic word, this and the very spiritual word, this in all of the world. Today it's called, the, the theme of this exhibition is by, uh, it's run by Caravan, which is an organization that uses the arts to bridge between the Middle East and the West. And this exhibition itself focuses on what we have in common, which is prayer. Hence the theme, Amin, or Amen, a prayer for the world. The organizer behind this idea would be myself, uh, with an organization called Caravan, which is based in Chicago but it focuses on the Middle East, and Reda Abdul Rahman, who is the co-curator with me uh, of this exhibition, and he's one of the participating artists. He also sculpted the uh, figures as well. In this particular exhibition, there are 30 artists, Christian and Muslim from Egypt, and then these will move to Washington, D.C., and they'll be exhibited together with another 20. So you have 50 figures, uh, and those 20 are done by Western artists.
We do this kind of a thing every year. It's the sixth year, and we're beginning to think about next year now. So, yes, we, we look forward to doing it again. Caravan started here in Cairo as a movement to use art uh, to build relationships between the Middle East and the West and their cultures and creeds, religion. So it's an interfaith, intercultural arts organization. And uh, it, it started as a movement through these kinds of exhibitions and then eventually became an NGO. And it's based out of Chicago. This is, uh, I have been attending this uh, event for three years now. Uh, I love the idea. It's about world peace. It's about uh, how religions at the end meet at uh, one main point, which is God, and uh, how undifferent we are all. So uh, I love to participate in this, and uh, and uh, actually, uh, artists really do very creative thinking uh, and very creative works when it comes to this, ex this event because it comes from the heart, not from the mind. So uh, I feel like um, they have felt what they are doing. It's not that they have thought about it. They just, they worked with their hearts more than they are working with their minds. And um, as different as they are, but at the end, uh, they are all uh, gathered in one theme, which is working for a very great idea, which is we are all one. <laughs> see what's happening uh, everywhere. You can see uh, wars uh, because of religion. Uh, so, you know, art is the, 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 the one language that can bring people together because um, people have forgotten what humanity is. They have forgotten what um, hearts do. So, Art is um, the thing that would enlighten people and that show them the way to to uh, forget their differences and remember their uh, the, the um, their unity. So it is very important, and I feel that it has to go abroad. It has to go in other countries and show people that uh, there are people who uh, really um, appreciate uh, this idea.
Well, this brings us to the end of this episode of Cultural Magazine. Hope you enjoyed it and tune in for the next one. Thank <laughs> you.